So page 83 from Food of Gods by Terence McKenna. Katal Yuk, quote, if the Tassili and Ajir can claim consideration as the original Eden and westernmost location of, of partnership culture, then certainly Katal Yuk in central Anatolia must be seen as its Neolithic and Eastern cultum, culmination. Katal Yuk has been called, quote, a premature flash of brilliance and complexity, end quote, and, quote, an immensely rich and luxurious city, end quote. The stratigra stratigraphy for the site begins in the middle of the 19th millennium BC. Elaboration of cultural forms reaches a pinnacle in Catal level 6 in the middle of the 7th millennial BC. Catal Huk was a huge settlement spreading over 32 acres of the Kanya plain and at its peak accommodating over 7,000 people. Although barely begun, the excavation of Catal Huk has already yielded amazing shrines with cattle base reliefs and the heads of new extinct Aro Aro Aroch covered with ocher basins. The very complex paintings of a complicated civilization, figure eight, which is the figure we looked at, Catal Huk's complexity has puzzled archaeologists. Quote, Less than 3% of the site has been explored, but Katal Huk has already yielded a wealth of religious art and symbolism that appears to be three or 4,000 years ahead of its time. The mature complexity of the traditions of this Neolithic site further uh, presupposes accordingly to the excavator, an upper Paleolithic ancestral of whom we have no trace end quote in content content that the quote upper paleolithic ancestors of which we have no trace end quote is the culture of the tassili and ajir the natufian culture was a traditional culture directly linking the round head culture in africa with katal Huk. In support of this, of this rather startling statement, consider the following observations by other scholars. Malat said of, of agriculture at Katal, quote, everything indicates that the plant husbandry of Katal Huk must have a long prehistory somewhere else in a region where the wild ancestors of this plants of these plants were at home presumably in hilly country were well away from the man-made environment of the ponyo plain the beginnings must be sought in the nafuyan of palestine the still unknown earlier uh, akaremic of the anatolian plateau of turkey and in kazakhstan farther to the east further to the east here is malat on the material culture of katal in contrast to other contemporary neolithic cultures katal huk preserved a number of traditions that seem archaic in a fully developed neolithic society the art of well painting the reliefs modeled in clay or cut out of wall plaster the naturalistic representation of animals, human figures, and deities, the occasional use of finger impression clay designs like macaron mac macaroni, the development, the developed use of geometric ornaments, including spirals and meanders, incises on seals or transfer to a new medium of weaving, the modeling of animals wounded in hunting rights, 
the practice of red ochre burials, the archaic amulets in the form of a bird-like uh, stetopiogus goddess, and finally certain types of stone tools and the preference for dentalium shells in jewelry all preserve uh, pr preserve remains of an upper paleolithic heritage to a greater or less extent such archaic elements are also traceable in a number of other post -paleo paleolithic cultures such as the nafuyan of palestine but nowhere are they so pronounced as in the neolithic of katal Huke. so this is uh talking about the ancient uh, sort of pre sort of prehistory i guess or history uh prehistory this would be i guess of ancient civilizations human history which sort of links up to the live stream we did previously right and figure eight this figure here this figure here and my apologies to me brutalizing these all these names and stuff I'm just going to read you the description here. Figure eight, religious shrine at Katalhuk from Katalhuk, a Neolithic town in Atalolia by James Malut. Okay, San Francisco, McGraw Hill Books Company, 1967, figure 41, page 128.